Hey, I'm Srini, host and founder of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast and the creator of Maximize Your Output with Men. And in this video, I'm going to show you three different ways to prioritize what's important to you inside of Mem and make sure it stays top of mind. And if you want to stop collecting quotes and start using your notes to create content and move your projects forward faster than ever, make sure you check out our free course on how to take smart notes. I'll include a link in the description below. Now let's get to the tutorial. So in this video, I want to talk to you about how to prioritize what's important inside of Mem. And the reason for this is that when you have a self-organizing workspace like Mem, where you have a timeline and there are no folders, it can start to feel somewhat overwhelming and feel difficult to prioritize what's important. So you can see here I have hundreds of notes and hundreds of different mems. And for a lot of people, this just starts to feel like chaos. But there are a couple of different ways that you can actually prioritize the most important tasks. And I want to talk about what those are. The first is your inbox. And the inbox is actually a really great way to reduce the cognitive load that you get from seeing all those other notes inside of mem because then what you can do is just focus on what is inside of your inbox so for example one of the things that's really nice is let's say that you're working on something that's inside of your inbox you can go ahead and then work on that thing and then if you just press escape it takes you straight back to the inbox so you don't get distracted by all of your other notes inside of mem now by default, you're not going to have to use a lot of other apps when you're inside of Mem, but you can still tend to get distracted by all of your other notes when you see all these different things. So the inbox actually is a really great tool for prioritization. It's a great way to basically put things that you want to have be top of mind. I tend to put the things I know I want to put I get done. I tend to put the things that I know I want to get done every single day in my inbox. And if I have notes that I've captured, for example, that I haven't filled out. So if you look at this, you can see here, this is a note that resulted from one of my book notes and I haven't done anything with it yet. So what I do in that case is I just snooze that note until the next day. So that way it's off my mind, but I know it'll resurface whenever I need it. So I don't actually forget about it. So the inbox is one great way to do that. And I actually created a video about how to use the inbox if you want more detail on this. The other method for prioritization, and this is one that I realized a lot of people don't use and one that I started using recently is stars. So for example, and you can see here that I have my projects page for my second brain and mem starred and all you have to do is go here and click on starred. So one of the things that I tend to do for this is I will put important projects here or you can see here I have a monthly plan. One of the things in this monthly plan in terms of what needs to be completed is this video that you're watching and that's why my August monthly plan is actually starred because it's right there and that way rather than having to search or do anything else I can say okay these are the most important things but you'll notice here also that I have my projects my areas and my resources here right on the sidebar when I start them and this is actually a really great way to replicate the pair structure of your second brain and reduce the number of steps that are in the way of you accessing your specific projects, your specific areas of responsibility. So if you look here, you can see I have my blog and all the other areas of responsibility here. And then if I go to my resources page, I have all the various course notes I have along with any other resources that I've created such as lead magnets for my Maximize Your Output course, other content that I'm working on or other content that's finished, landing page copy and notes from other courses that I've taken. So stars are actually another way that you can prioritize things in MEM and make sure that you don't forget about what's important. The final way that you can prioritize something inside of MEM is with your tags. So I'm going to pull up this project that I'm working on, which is a consulting project for one of my clients who hired me to work with him to build an audience. Now I could star this, but you'll see here that I have a status that is active and Scott Belsky in his book, making ideas happen has a really great way of looking at this. And we can actually take that way of looking at this and tag it accordingly. So one of the things he says is that you want to prioritize your projects by 
their strategic and economic value. And the way that he categorizes them is things that are of extreme strategic and economic value are those that are incredibly important and generate money for your business or are vitally important to your success at work if you have a day job. Then you have high economic value, which maybe those things might generate revenue, but they could be of tremendous economic value. So for example, one of the things that I did recently was rewrite our entire Smart Notes course. So that was something that would have gotten the tag high. And then you have medium and low. And medium value things tend to be those that kind of matter, might have a, an impact on the strategic value or uh, economic value that you're creating with your work or your business. And then you have those things that are of low economic value, which could be things like updating your status on social. So you'll see here that I actually have a tag for extreme energy line. And so anything that has the tag extreme energy line, you'll see here. So you can see here that I had a couple of different things here that had an extreme energy line at a certain point, even though they're done. So you can see maximum output with MEM has an extreme energy line because it's one of my biggest priorities at the moment. And those are three very simple ways that you can prioritize your most important tasks in MEM without getting overwhelmed. It's a great way to reduce the distraction that might come from the fact that MEM is a self-organizing workspace and you have all of these different notes that are seemingly disorganized. And that way you reduce the cognitive load of all of that and are able to just focus on what's most important while simultaneously being able to capture anything you want. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.